Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the International Coins and Paper channel. This coin that we have here is a two peso coin coming to you from the great country of Mexico. Now this one happens to be dated 1998 um, and it's kind of toward the beginning of when they started updating their currency for the Nuevo Peso. Uh, and there's quite an interesting story behind that as far as the uh, first peso and then the Nuevo Peso. So we'll get into that a little bit more in this video, but let's talk about some of the actual specifics of this particular coin right here. So as you can see, it's dated 1998. This series ran from 1996 until 2018. The value of this coin is two pesos. Uh, two, two pesos, which is the abbreviated MXN, which translates to about 11 cents United States dollars. The most noticeable feature about this particular coin is that it is, in fact, bimetallic. Uh, it's made up of two different metal contents, as you can see, uh, and there's some real cool design going around the outer edge of the coin. So on the outer ring, it's a stylized design from the Ring of Days on the Aztec calendar stone. So we can see uh, these must have been the days of the Aztec calendar going around the outer circle of this particular coin. <clears throat> now the uh, metal content is a bimetallic aluminum bronze center and stainless steel outside ring. Its weight is 5.19 grams, has a di diameter of 23 millimeters and a thickness of 1.4 millimeters. Now what you're looking at right here is the reverse of the coin. So some uh, features to point out on the reverse of this coin. We see uh, at the center the denomination, two pesos. Uh, we see the date above it. We see the mint mark right there. And that's about all for the center of the coin. Let's flip it over and take a look at the obverse. So this is a common obverse that you'll see on almost all of the Mexican coins that I've come across. It's the national emblem of Mexico depicting a Mexican golden eagle perched on a prickly pear cactus devouring a snake above a wreath of oak and laurel below. Uh, the letters going across the top, which form a uh, semicircle, say Estados Unidos Mexicanos. And then we see um, some flowers down here going along the, along the uh, bottom boundary. As far as the mintages go, this particular one was made in 1998. Uh, the mintages for 1998 are quite high. Uh, the previous two years, there were 24 million and 35 million. In 1998, they really cranked it up to 104 million. So that's what we see right here. 104 million uh, were produced for the year 1998. Now that's not the highest of this run. The highest of the run uh, was made actually last year. There are 204. 59 million of these produced last year. So quite a lot produced last year, um, but 104 is the highest for the late 90s, early 2000s. Now I said that there are some interesting details behind the Mexican peso story. Uh, so in 1993, the Bank of Mexico introduced a new currency named the Nuevo Peso, which was written as N dollar sign, uh, followed by the numerical amount. One Nuevo Peso, or N dollar sign one, was equal to 1,000 of the absolute MXP pesos. On January 1st, 1996, the modifier Nuevo was dropped from the name and the new coin in the banknotes, uh, identical in every aspect of the 1993 issue, with the exception of, of now the absent word Nuevo uh, <coughs> were put into circulation. So this one comes out after 1996, so the abbreviation Nuevo Peso has been dropped from this particular coin. Now the exchange rate for Mexican pesos has continued to kind of go up, 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 and up. Uh, in 1991, it was close to a one-for-one one exchange, uh, Mexico per USD. Now it's up to around 20 to 1 exchange. So these ones right here are not worth a particular, <laughs> not worth really a lot in USD, uh, which that's great for Mexico exporting goods, but it really uh, lowers the purchasing power of the individual Mexican people. So it's tougher for them to import goods. So depends on kind of what direction you're looking to push your economy there. If you want to ex import more goods, uh, it's better to have a higher uh, valuation. If you want to export more goods, better to have a lower denomination. All right, but you know, if you want to see more about that, you can always check out a book on economics. All right, enjoy, people. Best of luck, coin collecting. Take care.